this is lot. true. Well, hey guys, we are live on Facebook. So if you're just joining us, you were listening to us argue about who's in a better place. <laughs> and, I, and I tell you, it's not me because I'm in the middle of these two uh, geographically. Uh, Daria is in LA and Ryan is up in New York City, the Hamptons specifically. So let me welcome, let me welcome our guests today. These guys are new to Lab Code Agents and we are really, really excited uh, to bring them in and share with our audience and our community what they bring, which is social media just mastery. I mean, these guys are really, really good specifically on Instagram. And so we've got Ryan and Daria from a platform called Very Social, where they do social media management. We're gonna go super deep on that. It's from strategic consultation to, to the management, to, uh, to influencer marketing. We're gonna talk about all of that today. Uh, so guys, welcome, welcome to the show. And, and let me, let me first start by saying, uh, let our, let's let our audience know a little bit about you guys, like what, what your upbringing is, uh, what you've done in real estate or what you've done in your professional careers. And let's start with ladies first, of course. So Daria, welcome and let us uh, tell us Thank a little bit you. about yourself. Thank you so much. Um, so originally from Vancouver, Canada, um, and social media has been in my life ever since it became a thing. So it's part of my DNA. I studied business and marketing in school and that's where I started my, my blog, My Secret Avenue on Instagram and my love for social media began then. Um, after I graduated, I started working for big brands like Lamborghini, Bugatti, also Century 21, doing social media for them and being a strategic um, director for these brands. And then I decided to move to New York City, uh, where I pursued my career social media director for one of the biggest agencies in the city, specializing in real estate, specifically in new developments in New York. Um, so luxury real estate has been my specialty for the past maybe four years. Um, then I kind of got tired of corporate job. And I just started freelancing and onboarding my personal clients. And this is how I met Ryan. Um, Ryan was one of my very first clients and I helped him with social media, create direction. I helped him with um, influencer marketing and we just like really hit it off. And once Ryan just called me, he's like, Daria, I have this crazy idea. Why don't you just leave your job and let's open agency together. We both have amazing experience in real estate. We love social media. We're creative. So let's just do, do it. I'm like, you know what? I think it's, I should take this leap of faith and go for it. And I think we just created the branding and everything basically in like one month and we launched. And ever since it's been such a great success. Um, I feel like our energy really clicks and our customers really feel it. We understand what we're talking about. And basically that's how it started. Awesome. Right. Ryan, awesome. Ryan, do you have any, any, anything to add? Um, yes. Yeah, so I'm actually, I'm a real estate broker, like, like everybody on uh, lab coat. So, um, you know, I've been selling apartments, uh, in Manhattan for like the last seven years. I'm from South Florida. And when I moved to New York city, you know, I didn't really have that sphere of influence. So I really hustled hard and, um, you know, my first two years in the business, I actually didn't do any sales. I just did rentals. I learned about the, the inventory in New York City, the sales process, which is n not like anywhere else in the world. You trust me, you do not want to be dealing with co-ops. They're a nightmare. Um, and then, you know, I started to get the hang of things. And I think what really like separated me from other brokers is, you know, obviously I hustle hard, but I have a, a really creative approach when it, when it comes to marketing. And I've been in, you know, the social media realm very early on. Back when I was in college, I used to run all the clubs and bars in Tampa, Florida. And um, back then I was promoting and marketing all the venues and parties I was doing on MySpace and the very beginning of Facebook. So, you know, fast forward, um, I'm now starting to get the hang of real estate. And before Daria, I had another strategist that was working on my social media and she was a big influencer, but really her specialty was in, in um, makeup and beauty. And she really wasn't in the same lane as me. Like she, she definitely helped me with my social and I learned a lot from her, but like when it was coming from her, it just really wasn't authentic. Um, you know, the pictures look great, but she just didn't really get the, the real estate talk. Um, and so then um, I connected with Daria like 2018, 2019, 
and she really just understood it. And at the same time, Instagram stories were uh, really starting, you know, just on their stuff. Uh, it, it went from Snapchat to, you know, Instagram stories. And um, that's where I really connected with my sphere. And so um, in, 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 in that year frame of working with Daria, I sold three apartments. And pretty much like I think the beauty of, of Instagram, it's kind of like a newsletter every single day. Um, you know, you're providing content and you're, you're adding value and you're being authentic every day, you know, through your posts, through your stories. And that's what I was doing. I was just, you know, doing apartment tours, market updates, showing, you know, pictures with my family, you know, being the mayor of my city um, on Instagram and Facebook. And um, I met somebody at an event. We friended each other um, on Facebook and then connected on Instagram. And, you know, we would like each other's post. Um, we would comment here and there. And then I did a really cool story of a new apartment uh, that I was uh, launching. And she reached out to me. She's like, you know what? I'm actually thinking about uh, buying an apartment. So got on the phone with her, ended up selling her a two and a half million dollar apartment. Um, and I mean, this is somebody that I would have never reached otherwise. Like I didn't have her phone number. I didn't have her email. Um, but, you know, I was constantly top of mind. Um, marketing myself, my brand, my, my real estate knowledge and my skill set through Instagram. And she reached out to me. The same thing with the seller. You know, I was always promoting, you know, my new listings, you know, doing really creative marketing, doing videos, doing influencer marketing. And a seller reached out to me and um, I ended up getting the listing. It was like, uh, I don't know, a million and a half dollar listing. And then um, I boosted one of my uh, videos, uh, marketing one of my listings. And I found a buyer through, uh, through that way. So I did $7 million in, in one year on Instagram. And, um, you know, I think a lot of that had to do with, you know, Daria's working together with Daria. It was a total collaboration. And, um, you know, then that's when the aha moment came to me. I'm like, every single broker needs to be marketing and branding themselves on social media. Because if you're not, like, I, I just feel like you're a dinosaur and it, not even that you're not, you're not up to date on it, but it's just such a, it's a, such a cost effective um, medium to really like reach your sphere and to like grow that sphere. Like I'm always marketing my social when I, when I'm showing apartments, I'm like, Oh, follow me. Or, you know, it's on my email signature. So I'm always, it's not just like, it's like me personally marketing it to me. And I'm always having conversations um, about, you know, through social, like DM has been a lifesaver for me. Yeah, and I think, and I want to go super granular on that. But before we do that, I, you know, I, I want to say to anybody, you know, to, to your statement, because I've made comments like that before, whereas, you know, you're a dinosaur. And, and the reality is this, listen, the, the traditional tag, you know, the traditional strategies are never going to necessarily die. But if you enjoy some of those traditional strategies, like buying leads, like calling leads, like door knocking, like calling Fizbo's, listen, that's always going to work. But if you can figure out and learn from people like Ryan and Daria how to build social media into your strategy, you'll find that you're swimming upstream far more often. You're going to get known. You're going to touch more people far more often. And that's what we're going to go deeper on today. Before we do that, and we're going to go deep on, on your platform as well, and, I want, to, and I, want to, I want to digress for just a half second. You guys are going to have a deal just for the Lab Coat community, right? Uh, so I want to mention that multiple times, but let's start. Mention that first, and then I want to fire some questions at you. So what, okay. what's going on there? So we have three packages, um, and, what we'll, and, and there's an onboarding fee. So we'll discount the on, onboarding fee by 50%. It's a $500 fee. And then we'll upgrade you from package A to package B, from package B to package C. So, um, you know, you're getting month. up. Yeah, go on. For the first month. For the first month, yeah. So awesome. basically, you will be getting a higher package for the price of a lower package for the first month. Awesome. And we're going to go deeper on those packages, but, but, I, but I, we'll save that till later on. What I want to talk about first is, is kind of what you guys are talking about. Like, the first question that most salespeople have is, okay, yeah, I get it right? I need to be on social media. So let's, let's back it up for a second because you guys focus on Instagram and so many, so many real estate professionals and just sales professionals in general are Facebookers, right? And they're just starting to migrate or not, you know, just starting to understand, okay, why is Instagram different? What makes it better? Why should I be there instead of Facebook? Mm -hmm. 
So let's kind of give our audience kind of like just a little mm -hmm. background on the two and why you feel like the place to be going forward is Instagram. Um, I feel like Instagram is crucial for real estate brokers purely because it's such a visual platform. And what you're selling is basically, basically you're selling your properties in your face, something people need to see. And um, that's the first main point. Second main point right now, everyone's attention span is so short and Instagram inter interface and the way it works is just so like time efficient. It allows people to really consume content really fast and in a really efficient way. So we strongly believe only for these two reasons, you must be on Instagram. Also, um, we feel like Instagram with all the stories and user-friendly interface really um, allows your audience to get to know who you are as a person as well and like understand your branding in like in a small snapshot. They don't have to go to your website, do this extra work. They have to go through Facebook and find your pictures and scroll through all these wordy posts. On Instagram, it's clean, simple. It's your grid, it's your content, your properties, it's your highlights, your bio, your stories, if you post it. And the person can make a decision about you and who you are in 30 seconds. So we feel like it's really like, really great like online branding and resume for, for agents. And also people are shopping, I think for real estate or real estate agents to help them to buy their dream home. I think they're looking for somebody to make this like personal connection with, somebody they're comfortable with. So even like seeing like who you are, like your, your family, your interests, like property yourself, how you approach your, um, your work really like allows them to understand your energy that will be comfortable approaching you. So I think it's a really important tool. And also on Instagram, of course, because it's an open platform, you can reach the audience beyond your friends, um, friends and the sphere who are your friends with on Facebook. So basically you just find a stranger who will approach you through your hashtags or if you like posted like certain location. So I we feel like with Instagram, the sky is the limit. I love it. Ryan, anything to add? Yeah, I agree. Everything what she said is totally on point. She's very technical when she comes in. She knows the ins and outs. Um, you know, I, I get the results because I'm an agent and, you know, Daria, I, I always like to say I'm the number one, I'm, I'm the first client for Very Social. I'm still a client. Um, but I think where I'm seeing the most results as an agent is through the Instagram stories. Um, I'm, I'm probably fielding close to 50 DMs a week. Um, and I would say post COVID that's increased, you know, close to, you know, 75%. Um, and people are commenting on my stories. Um, I'm, I'm always, you know, engaging with them. I'm ha I have polls, I have questions, you know, and those are really important. Like when I, when I have a poll, you know, I'm looking at who answered the poll and I'm, I'm like DMing them. I'm thanking them for like even engaging on, on my poll. And, and it's a great way to like build, uh, you know, build a relationship. Um, it, I, my big idea almost is like having like a CRM for, for Instagram because you talk to so many different people. Um, you know, you can just kind of like scroll down, but for me to even scroll down a week, it takes me forever because I'm in just constant communication. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just a great way to connect and, and to meet new people. You know, a lot of the time people are reaching out to me that I don't know. And, you know, because I'm, I'm out there, I'm doing, um, you know, Insta lives and, and I'm, um, I'm always uh, tagging other like businesses and other individuals and people that I don't even know. Like, um, you know, um, I'm just, I'm giving them props and, and people are, they're reposting that. So, you know, it's a great way to really like grow. And I think you can grow a lot faster on Instagram than you can on Facebook. And, and also Instagram's four times as big as, as Facebook. Um, and, and at Very Social, you know, everything that we're posting on Instagram, we're also posting on Facebook. Um, but our clients are just getting so much more engagement um, on Instagram. Yeah, and I think it's important to point out a couple of basic things too, just mm -hmm. not, not assuming everybody knows this, but first of all, Facebook owns Instagram, right? Uh, second of all, Instagram, you can have an infinite amount of audience and Facebook, you're limited to 5,000 friends and you can have followers, of course, but on Instagram, it can be as big as you want. Uh, the other thing is, and, and I'd like to hear what your guys' thoughts on this are, Facebook has that stigma and it's kind of become that thing where one, it's very adsy now, like it's in your face business too much. And us real estate professionals are to blame for that partially. Uh, but also, you know, it, it can get really diluted with political BS and, 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 and drama and, and, and very, uh, 
you know, topics that, that cause just a lot of anger and a lot of emotion. Whereas I've heard a lot of people say I migrated to Instagram to get away from that. And, and I think if you understand from a social media perspective that Facebook knows what the hell they're doing, like that's why they bought Instagram because they knew they couldn't, that's like a runaway train on Facebook. It's not going away, but Instagram is becoming the, it's, it's the child. It's the one that's going to compete with TikTok, right? It's a teenager now. It's, it is. It is. It is a teenager now. And it is the platform, this is my opinion, that is going to be the Facebook for the next 10 years. So that's why it's so important to grow an audience now. So what are your thoughts about just kind of those basic, just basic, uh, the mindset of Instagram versus Facebook and why? Because I would like to get through to our audience and say, folks, like if you want to be out ahead, I mean, you want to be really out ahead, go to TikTok. But you want to be out ahead, you need to be getting on and familiarizing yourself and growing an audience on Instagram. Hi, Tristan. I think that both platforms are great for their own reasons. Uh, and the reason why we also tell our clients, we do specialize in Instagram, but we strongly believe you can just repost everything you do on Instagram to your Facebook. And that's where your friends and your circles can engage and you have more like personalized and more, I guess, close and detailed conversation with your friends. So basically everything we do for our clients, we automatically repost on Facebook. So you can have both both contents um, on the both pages. So you it's a win-win. Um, you're absolutely right. Instagram is much lighter. I feel like it's because you're allowed to follow strangers and all of these inspirational pages. And I feel like people, like with everything going on in the world, people just want to like distract themselves. They want to see uh, happy people, beautiful content. Sure, we want to know news and reality, but at the end of the day, um, when you're buying your home or you want to find your ideal real estate broker or agent, you want to you want good vibes from them. You want good energy. You want to see all these amazing things they're doing. That's why we strongly believe Instagram is better than Facebook for these reasons. Um, you need to get your like your face, your brand out there to as many people as possible. And the type of like voice you have and strategy will determine your your branding and your your energy and the type of customer you attract. Love it. Um. Yeah, I think that the, the grid is really important. And the grid is, um, you know, what people look at before they follow you. Um, and I, we put a lot of time and energy in making sure that grid is aesthetically pleasing, it's engaging, um, that you're likable. Um, you know, we, we do a calendar. So it's, it's like, you know, we actually, you know, Daria is like an artist when it comes to, to Instagram and, and she's just really good at visuals. So, you know, the calendar is so strategic. Um, the way that, you know, we actually look at it, like how it's going to look in one month from when a follower goes on there and, and, and says, you know, should I follow this person? Because you have like three seconds to really make that decision. So I think the grid is really important. And then with all the different mediums that are out there, I mean, you're talking about YouTube, TikTok, um, uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. I mean, you know, there's just so many different mediums um, and you could do them all. Like, uh, you know, it's a lot of work, um, but you know, I think they each have their own purpose. And just like in a few words, I would say like Facebook is more like friends and family. You know, you've been on Facebook a lot longer um, and it's, and, and like, we, we like to repost on Facebook because that's really your core, you know, Instagram, it, it's just a larger audience. You can grow faster. Um, there's a lot of, um, people that are kind of looking for inspiration mm -hmm. and information. Um, TikTok, uh, is, is pure entertainment or education and, and it's all video based. Um, and then same thing with YouTube is it's, mm -hmm. it's video based, but I think, you know, Instagram's kind of that tweener because, you know, you have the videos, you have the pictures, you have the copy. Um, and, and, and it's just, I feel like the most user friendly um, to, to communicate with, uh, with, with people that are following you and uh, just like the visuals and the video. So, you know, we feel that it's the best way to connect with people to grow your business. Totally. Yeah, and Ryan said, like, you get the snapshot of the grid right away. So that's why we board our clients. We send them a questionnaire. We want to really get to know their interests, who they are as people. Um, they're, like, what they're expecting from us, the tonality of their voice. So if you look, we'll have content pillars, which we create for you eventually, which will include different subjects, like your listings, recently sold, your hobbies, family events, 
market reports. So basically every post is going to be different. It's going to be so dynamic. It's going to show you as a very well-rounded professional who is also not afraid to be real and showcase your hobbies, maybe your opinions on social issues. That's your choice. So we, we don't want your page to be like a listing, like a brokerage website because everyone can post pictures of a listing. So you really have to like think out of, out of box and really make it engaging, interesting, sharp, you know, eye catching atten really attention, like attention has to be there. And what we always keep in mind, people don't have time for lengthy captions, they don't have time for long videos, everything has to be short, um, really consistent, and like consistently posted and really, really sharp. <clears throat> I, I agree. I agree. And I want to go back to something, Ryan, you were saying when you were describing the platforms. I heard this on a podcast recently and they said, Facebook is a, is a talk show. Instagram is reality TV. YouTube is sitcoms and LinkedIn is like CNBC. It's a really interesting way to describe them. So you can kind of wrap your brain around what kind of content you should be putting out there. But remember what I said, Instagram equals reality TV. Yeah. What's like the most popular thing right now and has been for a while, reality exactly. TV. And that's why it's, it's, so, it's so powerful. I didn't have anything for TikTok yet. We got to figure out what that is. Is that like Disney Channel maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but. Exactly. Whenever like our clients sometimes ask you, what should I be posting? I'm like, well, how do I make my page interesting? I'm like, think of reality TV shows. Like, okay, maybe that's not the best like, example. Like, keep up with Kardashians, the million dollar listing. Why do you like it? Because you can see actually the personality of these characters. They're like, inner world their families that's what actually of course beautiful real estate and whatever is happening is also interesting but like 50 percent of it if not more is their personality yes um absolutely. also i think you know a, a, a lot of the reservations that we get from people is i don't know what to post we're, we're constantly hearing that and we really break them down like daria said that we call it the pillars of content i think she just named off a few real estate pillars of content um but you know, like someone like me, so I'm a real estate broker, I'm a social media agency owner, I'm a, a New York lover, I'm a foodie, I'm, I'm a father, I'm a husband, um, you know, I'm into my family, I travel, like those are eight things right there that we break down, kind of core pillars, and then we break it down on different ways that we can create content. Um, so, you know, we do a deep dive into all our clients, uh, we do a social media audit, we have them fill out a questionnaire, we do a lot of our own, you know, research, uh, because when we post, there's nothing more important than, than their post being authentic. So we really, you know, ha do a deep, uh, a, a deep dive into them. So we really get to know who they are. And our team is made up of, you know, copywriters, graphic designers, you know, Daria's an artist. Um, you know, I help out on strategy. Um, so we, we have a team and we all kind of collaborate to really, you know, put a whole message for each one of our clients um, and, and that's strategic and that's going to help their grow their business and, and build their brand. Ryan, I have a question. No, oh, Tristan. Hello. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, what's up, Daria? <laughs> Hi. Uh, this, this one's from the, the Q and a on in the group here and Marissa, it says, do you post Facebook and Instagram content at the same time or do you post them at different times? Also, mm -hmm. Do you modify posts for each channel or do you just copy and paste for both Facebook and Instagram? Mm -hmm. um, we, we do analytic supports for our clients and we do the audit when we board them. And then we do monthly ones just to see the, the progress and see like the best times and the worst times. And of course, when we see the, um, when's the best to post on Facebook and Instagram, we try our best to schedule these posts during these times. Sometimes what I find, even though Instagram is showing all oh, 12 p.m. on Tuesdays, the best time and you post this next week it's not doing as well because i feel like it's also about the type of content you're posting and like some and the message you're sending you know and it's also like you have to feel out when it's better to do like a new listing an open house evening or morning or a family picture you know what i mean it's also common sense it's not just numbers even though we do reports and we do rely on the statistics heavily um, when it comes to posting um, content on Facebook and um, Instagram, uh, usually it is the same. If it's to say um, a short picture with a short message, we, we post the same thing. But let's say if it's an extent, if, let's say you have open house or a big party or something like that where you have like 30 photos you like to, to post and tag all of these uh, amazing brokers and people who came in, we do post a gallery and we do like more extensive 
post for Facebook, or even if it is like a blog post you want to share, which is more applicable towards Facebook, we'll do that more customized towards Facebook, if that makes sense. Got it. So then I have a question that stems off of that too. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, I have to answer a question. Yes, they handle more than one person per state. So feel free to, mm -hmm. to jump on that. Uh, here's the question in regards to that. What app do you use to figure out the best or worst times to post? Mm -hmm. So we, we work with, um, of course, we use analytics from Facebook and Instagram, the original ones, but also we use um, scheduling platform, uh, platform tool called Later. Mm -hmm. Uh, we connect your Instagram and your Facebook business page, which is the most important thing uh, to the platform and it tracks all of the statistics and it gives a more detailed um, snapshot for, of, the, of the numbers for us. How do you spell later, the app? Later, L-A-T-E-R, later. Right. Perfect. You guys just brought up something good too that I wanna mention is the analytics in Instagram are sexy as hell compared to most other platforms. Talk about the analytics and why that's so important and what they should be paying attention to. I think it's really important to see like, where is your audience located? Um, that also kind of allows you to see what time zone uh, most of your followers are, so when you should be posting. Also, of course, seeing the gender and the age group also helps you a lot if you want to boost any of your posts. Just when you're targeting this audience, you know, like their demographics. Also, the type of content, the language you're using. If you have millennials who are, your, uh, who are your main followers, you have to be probably more like edgy and fun. Or you have people who are baby boomers to be more like reserved and conservative. You know, it really helps with your branding strategy as well. So that's why we really um, dive in deeply when we do audit for you. We really look at, at your audience, at your numbers. We look at what you have been doing, looking at your DMs, um, your comments, amount of likes, and really providing you a really detailed strategy based on these numbers. Also, um, I think with uh, our social media, our monthly social media audits, we let you know which posts um, are performing best and which posts are performing least. And then from there, you know, we give strategy. So I think, you know, we kind of, if, you know, if you're doing, if your videos are doing really well, like on, you know, apartment tours, you know, we're like, let's do more of that. And let's say if your, you know, your pictures of you and listing pictures isn't doing so well, we're like, let's stay away from that. Um, also, post COVID, what we are seeing 100% is an increase in direct messages. Um, I would say it's almost 150% across the board for all our clients. So mm -hmm. people are communicating with their followers on Instagram and, and really like our bread and butter. And, and that, like the way that I, I would say that we started this business is because of the Instagram stories. Like I just saw how effective it was to communicate with my sphere of influence. Um, and now post COVID people are even more, um, they're, they're on social media more and they're just, they're, they're talking to our clients. Dude, that's a good point. I'm going to share my screen really quick because Facebook just came up with this uh, report three weeks ago and you're talking about uh, stories. Here's this dude, a day, a billion stories a day. That's what they came up with. This is three weeks old. So I'll send you guys this report too, but that's insane. Mm -hmm. This is, this is the way the consumer is now consuming data information, right? Short excerpts of video or, or, or just scenes like this that are not moving like pictures, right? So that's really important. That's one thing that you brought up, Ryan, that I think people don't understand the power of stories. That's powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think you have two ways to look at, to, to interact with Instagram. You can go down your in feed and usually I'll do that for a little bit, but I love the stories. They're so much more engaging. Just like Jeff said, it's like reality TV, you know, like the other day I, I picked up my daughter with my friend in, in a chair, like she was at a wedding and she's one years old. And I, then I did a play, I did a, the Hava Gani, uh, the, like the, the Jewish song, the Hava Gila song. And it was just like, something that I created, I got probably like 15 DMs. Um, and then right after that, I had a new listing that I just posted. So it was like, you know, the way that you could kind of switch it up and go from your personal life to your business. Um, and we get asked all the time, should we have two different pages? Should we do a business page and a personal? And we really like to just to have it all in one. And just like, you know, you're a brand, like if you're a real estate agent, you know, it's personal. You're, you're, you're finding someone their home. So they want to be comfortable. They want, you want to be likable. 
And like, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. Like we elevate your presence on social media. You know, we help with, uh, you know, putting together really good stories, making the pictures look good, making sure they have a gif to make it fun and entertaining and, and definitely having some sort of engagement, a poll, a question. And you can mm -hmm. see everybody that, 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 that answers the poll or, 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 or answers your question. And that's like a perfect opportunity for you to engage with them. Yeah, 100%. Right, yeah, good. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I was, I was going to say, I've got a multi-part question I want to ask from, from the audience. Um, and it's, it covers both sides of the spectrum. It's Marissa and Judy both have a question. And so Marissa's question was, I'm a new agent. And so what should I be posting about if I don't have my own listings uh, and you just don't have a lot of experience or, you know, real estate stuff to necessarily be posting, which is, is a great, good, good, good question, Marissa. Judy, on the other hand, says, uh, I have no social media presence and I'm old school. I would really like to have a presence. So are you guys the type of platform that can do everything for me and she doesn't have to understand anything? Mm -hmm. So it kind of goes both ways there. Okay, so for Marissa, who has no listings, just like is new to it, I, we have we had a similar actually client who is really new to real estate industry, and what we did, we used listings uh, of other agents from her brokerage. Uh, in this way, she's kind of showcasing her um, her colleagues. She's showcasing that like, she's supportive and like her team, and she's showing um, kind of what her brokerage does and what kind of services they offer. And she also has like really beautiful real estate on her page. Uh, we also use some testimonials from even her boss or even people she uh, tried to help with, but it didn't work out, but she still put a good, great effort. So putting like testimonial quotes uh, on her page, also showcasing your knowledge about the real estate market, like market snapshots, like you can do like weekly or monthly, giving your, giving your knowledge for the market or giving tips to like, let's say new buyers or people who are looking to sell so this way you're showcasing like even though you know i'm new but i'm really knowledgeable you know and also showcasing your knowledge about a neighborhood or and like kind of just tell me okay for, for example if you're in new york like here's the best uh, street in west village to buy if you're a like first home buyer here are all the amazing restaurants around it you know like and things like that and of course mixing it up with your personal life and your personality is really important um uh, on the other side of the spectrum, I think when you have such an amazing experience and uh, knowledge, I think it's just, it's a pleasure to work with clients like that because the content is like so rich. Um, of course, the post current listings, you also use your past listings you're proud of. We can do amazing thematic posts, like my top listings with pools and have like a gallery with like five posts with your past listings you've sold or, or rented your testimonials all the old content you had and your words you have so really mixing up new and old and to be honest with you lots of people not gonna know like this like you put this listing contract two months ago they don't care like you just want to see the listing they want to see the, the face of a happy customer so i think when you have so much experience so much knowledge we just dig deep and we just try to make it really creative and really thematic and just serve you the best way so while you're on that though, is so for her, let's use Judy as an example, um, yeah, yeah. you know, she's like, I don't want to learn how to do all this stuff. So will mm -hmm. you basically hold my hand all the way through? And I think the answer is yes, but maybe elaborate yeah. a little bit on that. So one thing about us that we think, which makes us stand out and even ha having our prices so reasonable for all the agencies across um, New York City and other places, uh, we're so highly customized. We're literally like, hold your hands, we'll post for you, we'll ask you million questions, we'll make sure you understand your voice, your persona, your branding, we'll like, we'll like learn you in and out in your business. We'll create the calendars for you for the main feed for the next three to four weeks. We'll create weekly story calendars for you. We're not gonna post anything, of course, until you approve it. Uh, we're gonna be sending all everything for approval and then we'll post for you. So you don't have to worry, you will like, you know, okay, I approved my calendar, I know what's happening, I have it in front of me, if I wanna check what's tomorrow, and very social team is going to take care of it. We're going to post for you and do everything. One thing we don't do though, we don't respond to your personal DMs um, and comments because we believe like these are your customers and you like, that's the next step, like to take um, people from social media and bring them to like, to your open house or to your listing. So that's your job. We don't want to in any way to like jeopardize your business. Uh, but rather than that, we, we do everything for you. 
Um, we also do manual growth. So we will, um, you know, really like what, when we do our, our audit, we'll kind of break you down. And what we'll do is we'll find certain hashtags, geotags, and popular pages that, that fit you. And we'll manually go on your page and engage with those hashtags by liking, commenting, and DM. And so what are those people? They're like, oh, who just liked my, my picture? They, then they go back, they look at your grid. They're going to see this beautiful calendar that we put together. And that's a great way for you to, um, you know, get new followers that are in your target market. And we do really well with, with the geolocation. So for me, like in, you know, I'll, we'll do like Central Park and, and we'll go down this, the, the different, you know, geotags for Central Park and like, you know, beautiful picture, like great capture. And um, we also do that for like popular restaurants or museums. So it, it's, you know, what, you're do, what, what we're doing for you is we're, you know, managing your social media. We're collaborating with you to, to create content because we can't do this by ourselves. You know, we're going to need pictures or videos. Um, and, you know, we're just making it look really good. Like our team of, of uh, graphic designers and social media strategists that really get a feel for how to how your content should look on social media like we we post that for you and then we help grow your your followers i love it i love it and and somebody just asked what dm means and tristan responded but i, I don't want to assume everybody knows that's direct message uh so that's what dm means if you didn't know that uh we do have a couple a couple more questions and you you, you alluded to hashtags a little bit mm -hmm. and that's a good topic because hashtags are extremely important on instagram uh, do you want to even want to want to explain a little bit more, uh, go in depth on how yeah. hashtags work and why they're so important? So uh, there are maximum of 30 hashtags you can use under your picture on Instagram. We believe like we find, let's say what I call like these core base hashtags for each client that we use, let's say from 10 to 15. Let's say if you're a New York City agent, like New York City luxury real estate, New York City listing, New York City broker, uh, like West Village listing, whatever. And then we customize the other half towards the picture. So let's say it's a new listing in uh, Soho. So we really customize like one bedroom apartment in Soho, like, or we find like popular hashtags for, the, for that neighborhood, or even uh, we find like hashtags around, around the area of other businesses, which are really popular. We also like to tag the photo actually, like New York Times real estate, New York City, like luxury, uh, condos so this way people who look at the tag pictures of these pages can see like your listing on it so we really like try to like um, make your uh, picture as exposed as possible and one of the what these hashtags do obviously when when the person searches New York City luxury real estate and they will see like hundreds of thousands of pictures your picture is gonna be on top of there because like, it's the most recent one so the person can just purely find you through hashtag. Like I remember like we had clients who just found us like through hashtags against like New York City, like real estate agency. Um, and you'll be surprised how many people actually do it this way. And especially like modern day buyers, millennials, that's the way to go. Love it. Love it. Ryan, anything to add there? Um, no, I think Daria, um, but uh, Daria, you know, she, she, she handled that one good, but I, maybe you should, we should talk about our packages. Yeah, let's go yeah, ahead. Uh, really quick, Ryan, the packages. I have a question in regards to something before that. Okay. With that. Uh, only because Janice Brown asked a really good question. Are you accessible by phone or, or email to set up and guide or no? Yeah, so, totally. Go on, so Darian. Basically, yeah, so basically how we work, we will have like a force of conversation with you to really like get to know you, understand who you are, what you're expecting, what kind of package fits the best for your needs. And then once uh, we agree on something, the contract is signed, we begin the onboarding process where we'll send you our workflow just to show you the steps of how our cycle works and onboarding works. Then we'll send you a questionnaire, which this way you will like, answer all the questions that we need from you. Um, the ones we'll get all of these, um, uh, all of these answers, we'll get your login information. We prepare an audit where we like look at the analytics. We um, provide you with recommendations and um, we send this audit to you and you look it over. If you like the strategy, you want to make any tweaks, you say thumbs up, I love it, go ahead. Or you want to tweak something, we change it. This is when we, the actual work begins. We collect all of the 
all the content for me, all the pictures, all the testimonials, everything relevant to the strategy. We also use event calendar where you can fill out any important dates that are coming up uh, for you for the next uh, couple of months. So we also take into consideration all of these things. And then we prepare um, a big calendar for you. And of course, like if you have any question, you can always email us, we're really accessible. We also have office hours weekly where you can call us. And um, yeah, we're, we are really like a communicative agency. So we're always um, in touch with our clients. So of course, if you have any questions, we're there for you. Yeah, and also, you know, this is very personal. Like your social media is your brand. so. You know, we want to be on the same page. I think that's that's really important. Um, and we would never post anything without your, you know, your approval. Although a lot of our clients now say they just get it what we do, and and really like our target market is probably an agent that's just too busy to do the social on their own, and they really just want it elevated. Because a lot of people can do social, but the way that we do it, you know, we just you know, with our graphic designers and copywriters, like it could take you, you know, sometimes 20 minutes, 30 minutes to do a good post. But we, you know, this is what we do for a living. And um, um, so, you know, we're professionals and we just, we take what you already have and we just elevate it. Well, people know that it's not them posting? Um, no, they don't. That's the reason why we really ask you like, these questions in our questionnaire to really fill out like your tonality, your voice, we read your previous posts, of course. And we have amazing copywriters who are talented and they can really like catch your personality. And this is why we submit our staff for approval to you where you can make your tweaks. And of course the learning curve, like we, we also will get to know you. And um, I feel like it's, just, it's why it's a collaboration. But as Ryan mentioned, um, we get used to like our clients so quickly and they get used to us that they just like trust us so much and we post on their behalf and they're and also, confident. Yeah, we'll be able to portray. Also, like, our clients are giving us the direction and the lead. We're just taking that, taking like the content and like what they want and really just making it look that much better on social media. Where did, the, where did their images and photos come from for their posts? Do they provide them? Do you go find them? So, of course, the images of the listings and like comes from agents. That's something we like can to do. Um, but whenever we, let's say, do like market snapshots, like we, our graphic designer designs the graphics. If we do like inspirational image of like this beautiful, I don't know, uh, beautiful streets of New York City, we, we borrow images from other Instagram users giving them credit. So it's like a mix of both, you know. Um, also, if you guys need help creating organic content, is also part of our services. We're connected with uh, amazing creatives all over the country that can like help you shoot the videos and photography if you ever need like listing video or anything like that. We can also connect you with creatives to create this organic beautiful professional content one love one it. thing one thing that i love and we recommend we recommend to all our clients is lifestyle shoot you know pick a a really popular spot in in your neighborhood a park a restaurant and have a professional photographer take pictures bring a couple outfits maybe go to a couple different spots and we could use these lifestyle shoots you know 30 to 45 pictures we can use them for you know a month, two months, like they're pretty much a whole quarter, like they're seasonal. And so, you know, we mm -hmm. could just take a picture, we can put like an inspirational co quote or a fun fact or, you know, something like relevant at the time. Um, and, and it really makes a big difference when you have, you know, curated, beautiful photo, uh, photos, you know, it just makes that your grid look that much better. And also we provide like our monthly reports. That's when we provide you like new strategy and your recommendations. And let's say, okay, like Ryan, I think, this month because you really need to showcase uh, this neighborhood because your listings are mainly in that neighborhood. Why don't you um, do a lifestyle shoot with like top restaurants in West Village with outdoor dining? And we can make amazing proposals this way you can promote your listing this way. And also you can tag those businesses and get extra exposure. So we can also like, will help you and direct you how to create that content, give you ideas. Awesome. And now, so I want to, I want to make sure we can talk about the packages, which will cover some other questions like how many times a week do you post on their behalf and, and those sort of things. So let's talk about those packages. And I also want to mention, I want to, I want to answer Jordan's question. Jordan's got some questions about Daria, why you're such a badass on Instagram. But let's talk about the, <laughs> let's talk about the packages first. 
Um, and then I want you to, to talk about your, your uh, page because you have 150,000 50, plus followers, how you got there, those sort of things. But let's talk about okay. what the package is and how often you guys post and that sort of thing. Okay, so we have three packages. Um, first one is called Get Seen. The second one is called Get Noticed. And the third one is called Get Attention. So all of these packages include a uh, social media audit because without it, we can't do anything. Um, so of course, account creation, if you don't have an account or opt optimization, if you have it and needs like a nice facelift, will help you to like change your profile picture, help you with your bio, like create like amazing, beautiful, um, story highlights. Um, of course, content scheduling is also for every single package. So when it comes to actually number of posts for the first package, we offer 12 in feed posts and 12 stories, which keep in mind is like 24 posts per month. If you think about it, just on different, on a different, in different ways. Um, and we do a uh, follow up growth strategy that Ryan mentioned where we have a person dedicated to growing your following manually and he's engaging with uh, hashtags locations and pages relevant to your business so basically liking commenting people who are engaging with those with those pages and attracting them to your to your page um, and also we can help you with one boosted um, Instagram advertising post so we can help you to like really um, schedule it and like find the right target audience and really advise you on things like that. Um, so the, for the package, and the package starts from $1,000 per month, plus the onboarding fee, which for you guys is gonna be 50% off, as um, Jeff mentioned. Um, so for the package B, it's 16 in feed posts and 16 um, stories a month. Um, also, it's eight hours of follower growth strategy. And sorry, for the first package, it was four hours of follower Per week. strategy per, per week, yes. And we help you with two uh, boosting uh, of your ad. Um, and for the last package, you get 20 in feed posts per month, 20 stories per month, uh, 12 hours per week of manual growth. And we help you with three boosted posts um, on Instagram. And um, it is 2000 and um, the package B is 1500. So 1000, 1500, 2K. Um, it's a, we believe it's a great value because even from very first package, you, if you think about it, you're already starting from 24 posts and you, it's up to you how you want to uh, spread it out. If you want to post a, a feed post or a story the same day, or if you want to do one day story, one day uh, in feed post. So this is how we work. Um, if you're of course interested, we can send you the packages um, by email so you can like take a look and really compare. Awesome. Um, I, I think I covered everything about the packages, Ryan, right? Yeah, you were good. Why don't you go over the offer that we're, uh, that we're offering that? And, yeah, and, so and also, by the way, let's mention that we, that the way they can get a hold of you guys, uh, we've mm -hmm. been putting it in the chat, right, Tristan? Mm -hmm. Uh, it's in the chat. It's in the, uh, it's in the chat on Facebook. Um, so make sure you reach out. If you have additional questions we didn't cover, make sure you reach out to them. If you want to see examples, um, if you want to go a little bit deeper, um, mm -hmm. I, I will say this sorry, before you say that, you know, Tristan and I have a lot of experience and talk with a lot of these different agencies and the difference from your agency and a lot of other ones is it's, it's, it's there's a lot more handholding. Like you guys are really getting deep and working with clients rather than just throwing up a bunch of memes, right? Just throwing up a bunch uh, of, of words and stuff like that. And this, that's why this is a really sexy platform and, and why we really enjoy yeah, having I, you know, you guys There's on. a lot of these agencies you see out there that are like automated agencies that, that you're not even talking to somebody. Like we're putting actual mm -hmm. manual hours into like working on your page and our team of creatives that are professionals in like copywriting and, and graphic design, you know, all touch your page. Um, and the content that, that you're providing us to really just make it that much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically what we offer for lab code agents, we offer you 50% off for your onboarding fee. So instead of $500, it's 250. And for the first month, you will get upgraded to the next uh, biggest package that we have. So if you get the package B, you will get package C uh, for the first month. I like that. Can I, can I just mention something really quick, guys? Uh, that's, we, we often talk about Instagram and then we, we've worked with 
Instagram content providers in the past. This is the very first time I was texting Jeff on the side that it's very hands-on and we don't usually see this. And I think that's super attractive to somebody like me who's busy and most agents, right? Our, our expertise comes into uh, when we're prospecting, that's my expertise, right? Building relationships in person, calling people, talking to them about real estate. When it comes to social media, it's a lot more of a challenge for most real estate agents, right? And that's why I love that you're taking the hands-on approach because we do, we do need that. Our, our world on the real estate side needs that. So thank you for that. We don't usually see that. Well, that was my aha moment because she took su such a, a big part of work like off my plate and, and could do it better than I could do it even if I was putting like all my energy into it. So, you know, I, I, right when we started working together, I was like, every agent should be doing this because it's part of your marketing mix. You know, I don't think you need to give up like, you know, cold calling or prospecting or sending out mailers or doing Zillow leads, you know, but I do think that you should be adding Instagram marketing and social media marketing to your marketing mix. You know, it's part of your branding. Like it's your website. It's, you know, people are going there and they're, they're seeing you and they're, you know, that, that grid is really important. It's like a snapshot of you. So, you know, you want really beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, like pictures, listing pictures, you know, it, it, it's, it's, it's a big part of like everyday life. Everyone's on social media. It takes people two seconds to look you up on, on social media. So like the last thing that you want is to like have a crappy page that just is like, doesn't look right. Like it could be, it could lose you business in this nowadays if you're not doing it right. I agree. I agree, guys. So, so why don't you, Dar like, I would like to have Daria talk about how she's grown her page. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We'll wrap up with that, Daria. That's perfect. And, and any questions we didn't answer, uh, remember, you can, you can reach directly out to them. There, it's, it's in the yeah. chat, right? Correct? Yeah, reach out through verysocialnyc.com. We have a contact box. Um, our, our emails, Ryan at verysocialnyc.com and Daria at verysocialnyc.com. Even on Instagram. Just DM us. Um, yeah, we, we love, love DMs. DMs. That's right. You we learned what DM messages. means, so now direct use it. Message. Yes. That's right. Um, how I made it, to be honest, how I made it like popular and made it work. Of course, I started like a while ago, and it was like consistent work. But also, I've been always real and raw, and I've been also always posting what I truly love, you know, and my personality. And I think that's the key. And if you love real estate, your true, true passion, you should not just post your listings. You should post like what you think about it, how it makes you feel, like put your angle, your approach, how you film, how you talk about it, put like a part of you. Like we will help you to do that. Which I will like get to know you so well and we'll use your voice and we'll amplify it to the best possible way. So it's not going to be a cookie cutter page like everyone else has like with the same thing, you know, it's going to be your favorite colors, your voice is going to be your way of images, your personal edits. Uh, it's all about showcasing and, your beautiful personality and your knowledge through your lens. So I think this is how I made my page um, uh, popular. And I was never afraid to change as well. If you will look through my page, it has so many phases. And you know what? It's okay to wake up next morning. Like, you know, I don't feel like I like this color anymore. I don't feel like I want to be doing this. I'm going to tell my team, you know what, guys? Let's do something else. Let's brainstorm. So I think keeping your page dynamic and real and just always have conversation with your clients and your followers is so important ask them questions do the polls ask them what you want what they want to see on your page but at the same time stay true to yourself and showcase what you truly like it's an awesome overview so in closing is there anything you guys would like to uh, to share obviously we've talked about a lot but let's re let's repeat it again how can they find you um, I, I don't think I've been answering people about where to find you guys on Instagram, like Ryan G sells NYC, uh, Daria, I believe it's, it's your name, right? To find, to find you on Instagram. Um, well, my Instagram handle is my secret Avenue. That's the name of my blog. Uh, but you just can type my, my first name, my last name. You can find me as well. Excellent. Excellent. Or and all and very social NYC on Instagram and you can see a stag there. 
That's a great point. Very social. NYC, you can probably get a great example of, of, of uh, what they would be seeing or what they would be getting if they, if they partner and work with and, you. And also, right? I even if you, you know, take a look at our website and our Instagram page, like you'll get a feel for the design work, you know, the aesthetic of our page. And, and we take a little bit of what we do and we just incorporate it into to your brand. And, you know, like I kept on saying, like my aha moment, like I sold three apartments last year uh, for over $7 million through Instagram. Like I've seen the results. Um, I think it could be a, you know, I don't think it's your main part of your business, but I think it should be part of your business. And, and we really could elevate that. We could, you know, amplify your voice. And, um, you know, you know, I think it, it, this is you, this is not going anywhere. You know, social media is just getting more relevant. Um, so, you know, to have a team that really understands you understands real estate that that's collaborating with you, um, I think is, is really valuable. And there aren't a lot of other agencies out there that really just know real estate. Like I'm, I'm a broker, like Daria was in new development marketing and we, we, you know, collaborated to, to launch um, very social. So we get the real estate space. We get what the real estate agents are going through and we know how to, you know, grow their business through social media. This has been awesome, guys. This has been great. I think, Tristan, I don't think this is the only time we're going to have them on, right? We're going to have these guys back, right? No, I think in about two weeks or so, maybe that's the next one. And obviously, if you have any other questions, uh, Daria and Brian are both inside of Lab Code Agents, so you can post your questions. We'll tag them, and they can come in and answer those as well. Definitely, I loved it today. Thank you guys so much for having us. Thanks. Thank you. Great, great seeing you guys. Have a great day, everyone.